CBS 2's Ariana Piper tells us the plans they've already come up with to conserve water. Rain is a welcome sight this week here in Nampa. The city has been dealing with drought conditions all year. We've been watching the snowpack and reservoir levels and wanted to be proactive knowing that water levels are going to be low this year. Tom Points, the senior director of public works at the city of Nampa says the city's reservoirs are 50% lower than normal and the snowpack is around 63% of what they consider normal over a five year period. Well, residential business farmers, we all use the water. Uh, the farmers use it to create our food. A task force made up of business owners, irrigation districts, and other associations was created to come up with ways to conserve water. We want to involve the community as part of this decision. The task force recently partnered with Zamzos to teach the community about how to not overwater your lawn. We've been providing information on inches of water per week to put on your lawns. Another initiative is transitioning Nampa's parks and schools sprinkler systems from manual to automated. You can save up to 15% of your water by going to an automated system. The city is also looking at building water storage ponds within city limits. During the, um, the off-peak times, divert water into those ponds, then put it back into the system during, during the peak demand times. Another new development, the creation of a water recycle program at the city's wastewater plant. We'll treat that to Class A standards and then uh, put that into an irrigation canal, and that'll be fully consumed by irrigation pump stations downstream. Previously, the wastewater was treated and sent downstream to the Boise River. Now, all the water will be consumed before it leaves Nampa. That'll take care of 15% of the total demand of our irrigation in our system. Now, Point says the wastewater plant puts out 11 million gallons of treated water every day that, for now, ends up in the Boise River.